in this video I'm going to show you your course files and uh, how to actually get started throughout the rest of this course so once you set up Coda and you have your site set up okay cl double click on the site so you would see two folders here template site and your project template site is well exactly what it means is just a template and I recommend that you don't actually edit on the template site itself it's just for your reference so it comes with index.html and template.html and there is a folder with images okay and that folder contains all the sample images that I have used throughout this uh, course and also all the icons that you see on the page itself okay so you have lots of icons I'll be adding more icons later on and there's a folder called assets as well so this is where all the CSS style sheets the fonts for bootstrap and font awesome the JavaScript files and also all the themes are located now let's collapse that again so this is just for your reference the template site but all your work will be done in the folder called your project so under your project you have a duplicate of what you see here assets is exactly contains all the same files over here images contains all the same files as the template uh, folder but your project folder also has snippets so this is a very handy way for you to get the necessary bootstrap uh, codes html codes for you to be able to build a website very quickly so these are all snippets for accordion button group button single i think it's self-explanatory over here now i could of course direct you to the bootstrap website to get those codes but that's really well it's really a pain in the ass uh, because not all of the bootstrap documentation or the sample codes that they show you on the website is complete some of them are overly complex so the ones that you have here is just very simple basic codes just enough to get the job done without all the extra bells and whistles okay so the blank file here let's preview that so all it says here is a blank slate for you to build quickly and that's exactly what the blank file is for so when you want to work on different elements for example if you want to build a nav bar you can copy or you can open blank.html and you can go to the html view of it and now you can click on file again and you can save as okay so you can save this as uh, anything you want but you'll always start with this basic blank file okay now let's go back to the template side because this is where all the interesting stuff is let's click on index.html now let's click on preview or you can click on preview in a new uh, window at the bottom here so this is your main bootstrap files it has all the common elements that are used in bootstrap it has the navbar a search option here some static text in the navbar it has some font awesome icons drop down for the navbar with a span a label as well it has the jumbotron okay and you have uh, well simple elements of a testimonial using default bootstrap classes like block quote okay next you have full width carousel and you can click uh, on the carousel itself to slide to the next images and you have well let me make this just a little bit bigger okay and then you have normal uh, tab so these are tab elements and you can click through it so within this tab elements you also have the responsive video which actually resizes according to your browser size you have embedded maps and responsive tables with labels and some sample dummy data over here okay and you have image based content blocks and this is a very common element to use on any website you have thumbnails okay thumbnails over here and the thumbnail button sample buttons using button toolbar and button groups and also a drop which is a drop very vari drop uh, variation of drop down for bootstrap you have the pagination and you have more elements like a uh, page header for bootstrap you have the breadcrumbs the uh, lead paragraph 
an image that has uh, some of the CSS classes in Bootstrap to make it look like a thumbnail, which is also responsive. You have some basic paragraph text, you have a simple audit list, and a fancy audit list that is using fonts from Font Awesome. And you have some sample on what you can achieve in Bootstrap. Over here, you have the collapsible group. And here you have sample buttons, but the buttons does, does really, uh, it's really more than just a button. If you click on it, it collapses or actually uh, it expands to show you an alert message. Okay, this is just an example of what you can do in Bootstrap, what I will teach you to do in this course. And of course, no website is complete without pricing and sign up options. So I've constructed this 100% using uh, Bootstrap, nothing else. Next, you go to the footer section, which has got your address, contact email, some stuff about your company, some uh, sample uh, blog post titles, and also an embedded live Twitter widget that shows all your latest uh, tweets. And finally, at the bottom, you have the copyright section of your website. Okay, now let's go back to template side and let's look at the other file that is included in a uh, template site oh, let me click on this template site which is template.html okay so template.html has all the elements that you see on the bootstrap website okay all the buttons in all the different colors all the tables different variations of tables thumbnails labels badges drop down menus nav bars alerts progress bars list groups panels wells carousel etc so between these two files you already have all the sample codes that you will ever need in order for you to create your own website with bootstrap now let's go back to index.html okay so the one thing that you probably notice that is that this is just the vanilla version of Bootstrap or the default version of Bootstrap without any additional styling. So where are all those additional uh, good-looking Bootstrap sites that I showed you in the previous videos? Well, it's all here actually, but it's all been commented out in this section that you see here. So if you want to preview um, this exact template, with different themes, all you need to do is uncomment the section here, delete, and this is the beauty of Coda is that you can see the changes instantly. So I've gone through a great length here to make sure that I created a template site that looks good in all the themes, all the 15 or 16 themes included here, okay? And these are all the other themes that you can use now you can just change this to you can uncomment the rest of it as well but you can just follow the names that you see here and you can change it to whatever you want so i'm going to change it to the cosmo theme and now this looks beautiful this looks like some kind of material design website again every single element will look different everything will look different and that's the beauty of using a css framework like bootstrap is that it's so easy to customize your site once you've set it up with bootstrap all you need to do is add your own css or your own style so some of the really cool styles that you can see um, well i guess beauty is really a matter of taste but these are the ones that i like darkly okay and that has a really dark theme it looks good it looks gorgeous actually and as well as flatly and this is well if you know what um, flat design means this is an example of bootstrap with flat design so no gradients nothing just flat simple bright colors and others like paper okay paper and readable okay so readable has really got big bold fonts again it's really a matter of taste you can you can add it in whatever you want and uh, some of the examples i will show you with using some of the themes but most of the videos i'll show you just using the very basic vanilla version of bootstrap so i'm going to comment this out again 
okay so we will stick to the vanilla version of bootstrap for a lot of the examples but i just want you to know that anytime you want you can just uh, uncomment any of these options here to have a much much uh, a, a better looking version of bootstrap and it re it's really up to you okay so those are the cost files again if you've set it up properly you will see template site index.html html template this is only for your reference as i mentioned before but your project and this is where you'll be building your site so every single thing you want to do you will start with blank.html you'll open blank.html and you will save it immediately as something else and then you will start building the different elements and finally build your complete website okay so let's get on with the rest of the course